Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. Honey, I don't know what Method Man is trying to do. Maybe he's trying to spark. Or put a spark back in his career. Because I don't think he would have ever apologized for something he did in the past. Unless he is really into his religion. And he has to confront people that he wronged. And maybe that would be the reason why he's coming out. Okay, but he's blaming everything on the a a a alcohol. As well as um just being in a bad place because how he was acting i do remember met the man back in the day he wasn't scared he had no self uh esteem issues because half the time when you do have self-esteem issues you're kind of like an introvert you don't really make yourself be out there and because to me he seemed like a narcissist is what he seemed like and that's very extra <coughs> excuse me extrovert but you know hey now he's issuing a 21 year old apology to destiny's child old and new i guess hell i don't know but i do know one thing the girls didn't come out and and, and talk about it the girls didn't say they probably said elf him is what they did so mama had to get involved which is mama bear over at the nose residence and she said okay i see you thank you for apologizing you're a bigger man for that but them girls was like I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to work harder. I'm a survivor. Yeah, that's what they said. And then maybe Jay-Z had to go uh, tilt his hat a little bit or straighten up his cap on his head. And told him if you ever want to work in the business again, he will apologize publicly. Because he made a public spectacle of himself when he did do that damage to Destiny's Child when they were back in the day. I think it was when Kelly and, it was just three of them. Kelly, uh, uh, well, what her name? Michelle and Beyonce. So, I'm like, man, Beyonce dad should have made him apologize. But maybe he wasn't in the situation of being their manager at the time. But he had to be because they were a younger Destiny child, not an older Destiny child. But I was okay. I said, Tina, 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 what you doing, girl? She said, Duffin, we got to let him apologize. And I'm going to speak to the girls. I said, okay, girl. Because I'm like, Tina, you should leave that shit alone. Okay, that happened a long, long time ago. And these girls are very much so grown. And if they don't want to come out, I don't know if it's your place to be saying you accept the apology. Because the girls ain't said, I'm pretty sure the girls didn't tell you they accepted his apology. But you're trying to be the PR stunt person. I know. You're trying to be the likable person. So you had to come out and say, well, okay, I'm sure they feel better about you saying that. But it still don't. Erase the fact that he did it. Okay, and then he gonna blame self-esteem issues. Now, Method Man ain't never had no self-esteem issues. Sell it to a bunch of other people, but don't bring the crap here at my doorstep, Method Man. But we're gonna go into entertainment um, news. I guess that's what they call themselves. And we had a writer by the name of Lester Fabian Breathwaite. He put out the article for his company, Entertainment. Okay, it's EW.com. But he titles his um, piece, Beyonce's mom thanks Method Man for issuing 21-year-old apology to Destiny's Child. It takes a real man. <laughs> it takes a man to know, not a real man, it takes a man to know when he was wrong. And he shouldn't have waited on 21 years to apologize for it. And then, I'm like, hmm, are you apologizing because you want the music industry to get back behind you? Hmm? Because you offended one of their top people, which is Beyonce. And she didn't have a beehive, but a beehive back then. So, I think it's all something you want to happen for you. But let's listen a little bit, see if we can get the story that he actually put the video in. 
so y'all can kind of hear why he's apologizing. Why he's doing the thing he's doing. But my phone is a little buffering right now. But hold on. Maybe we can get something. Okay, entertainment's not doing right. I'm going to pause that and catch up with it later on. Yeah, let's show them award shows. Come on now. Let's get to what we want to get to. Okay, stop the buffering. Let's go. Okay, it's not playing for us right now. So let's just get on into what they actually wrote up on Method Man and his apology. And then I'll try to play it at the end to see where it would take us. But anyway, <coughs> it says, Kelly, can you handle it? Michelle, can you handle it? Beyonce, can you handle it? Method Man, got an apology. <laughs> Say, whoa, I don't think you can handle this. It's too be delicious for you, baby. Yes, that's what Beyonce and Kelly and Michelle wanted to tell him, but they didn't get the opportunity to tell him because the mama came out there. Mama Bear came out there for them, being their spokesperson. But anyway, it says, sorry, it's all Method Man needs to get by. The legendary rapper issued a decades-old apology to Destiny's Child for a perceived slight, saying that the trio did not deserve that at all. Let's set the stage. It was 2001. Pop music is at its bubblegum millennial peak. Destiny's Child, once a foursome, has reached its ultimate form as a triad, meaning three people. Beyonce, Kelly Rowland, and Michelle Williams. Okay, and we know all the shade they threw with regard to the other uh, permanent, uh, we call it, group members. But anyway, it says it's a Janet Jackson MTV icon special at which the ladies were in attendance to honor them and the current queen of pop and R.B. Method Man had met the girls group back in 1999 when D.C. had four members and felt a level of comfort with them. I see the girls and so you know I kind of mosey out of my seat to go and say what's up to them. Now just a sidebar and I make plenty of them in my video so get used to it. What the hell are you getting up when a award show is going on? You should be paying attention to the award show and looking at the people on the stage. Why did you find yourself that you were big enough to just ignore the award show that was going on. And you wanted to creep over there and try to chit chat with the girls. Trying to throw your line to see what each one of them or one of them would take the bait. Well they didn't. So you should have set your ass in that seat. Okay and ordered you a couple of drinks. And then you know let whatever be whatever be. Maybe you go to sleep. Maybe you'll fall out on the floor. But the girls were not hearing you. And they want to be bothered with you at the time. Okay but anyway going back to the article. It says, Method Man, real name is Clifford Smith Jr., told rapper Math Hoffa on the latest podcast, My Expert Opinion. Meth noted that this was during his low self-esteem era during which he had an addiction to ecstasy and was riddled with depression and anxiety. Now, of course, as we all know, depression and anxiety go hand in hand and it is considered a mental disorder. However, however, Method Man. Low self-esteem, I don't know. Narcissist behavior, that's better fit the situation and what you were giving to the girls back then. But going back to the article, it said, I'll go over to say hi to them. And when I said hi, they didn't even turn around and acknowledge me. Now, my ass and my head with low self-esteem, it's like, oh, they just shitted on me. When in fact, they didn't even hear me. Well, like I said, if you moseyed on over there and they were looking at the presentation on the stage, then that would have been one thing. Because they could see when somebody was approaching them. At least one of them could have. They didn't want to fuck with you, uh, Method Man. Because you were probably drunk and you probably was, what do you call it, uh, high as hell. And they didn't want to be bothered. They were much younger than you, I'm sure. So they didn't want to be bothered with your ass. And what was Matthew knows at the time? Was he not sitting with the girls? But anyway, that's just my opinion. Let's get back to the article. 
uh so with the perceived slight still weighing on his mind when he and dc3 many destiny's child meet up again they extended their hands to greet him and method man simply left them hanging now ain't that a bitch move ain't that a bitch move now you gonna tell me he was low self-esteem low self-esteem people don't look like that and act like that okay i'm just saying but going on back to the article it said they put their hands out to shake, and I kept my hands here and was like, go ahead with that Hollywood shit. To this day, that shit hurt my heart because neither Kelly, Beyonce, or Michelle ever did any fucking thing to me. You know. Method Man then took the opportunity to issue a formal apology to all three members of Destiny's Child. To this day, I don't think they... Uh, I don't think that I ever apologized for that, he said. I apologize to Beyonce. I apologize to Kelly Rowland. And I apologize to Michelle. Y'all did not deserve that at that time. Well, okay, if at that time, well, by any time, just because a person don't want to sit up there and shake your hand and acknowledge you, that makes them a bitch. That makes them a hoe. That makes them every ungodly thing you can think to say out your mouth to them. What's sit your ass down. Okay, going back to the article. It says, um, Bay's mother, Tina Lawson, observed Matt's apology and thanked him for being the bigger man in an Instagram post. Okay, thank you, Method Man, the all mother of Bay Hive wrote. It takes a real man to tell this story. Such a great example for other young men. Don't assume someone is dissing you. Yeah, especially when it's pretty clear when Destiny's Child is dissing you okay yes they know they know and they dissed the hell out of him and i ain't mad for him because he shouldn't have been taking this raggedy ass over there when he's supposed to have been watching the show now it just it is what it is whether they accept his apology or not they didn't put it out there mama tina went over there and tried to say okay we'll accept your apology now my question is method man what are you wanting out of this situation were you asked or were you told to apologize if you wanted your career back Seems like something Jay-Z would pull a move or somebody higher would pull a move. Or hell, that mother been teen on those herself saying, Igga, if you want to work back in this uh, particular style of uh, moving and shaking, uh, you're going to have to do some apologize. Do you remember when, way back when, when you dissed the girls, when you made them feel lower than lower that they could possibly drop or go down to? Uh, yeah, we, we need you to remember that and we need you to do something about that. Uh, other than that, we ain't got no, sh we ain't got no time for you. We ain't going to even acknowledge you. So he had to go on to this YouTube station. I forget the name. I told y'all in the article. If you were paying attention, you would remember it because you know I don't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he, uh, I was, you know, he's over there talking and they were asking him about certain things, uh, what he's doing now, what he regrets and all this kind of stuff. And he just went on and said, you know, he's just acting a fool. He's just feeling himself. And he, one thing that had happened in his lifetime, he was uh, mean to Destiny's Child when they had the three group member members. And uh, he just felt it was weighing on his heart. I said, man, you act like you going through an AA situation. Alcohol Anonymous, a, a substance abuse, uh, drugs. And you need to refresh yourself. You need to go and apologize to people. Make amends with them and ask for their forgiveness before, you know, you get too far gone in your sobriety. Because you're supposed to be not drinking, not smoking, not doing none of that shit no more. But, hmm, when you're in the music industry... It's a hard pill to swallow. And however you got addicted to whatever you got addicted to that made you feel good about yourself and being able to perform. Uh, are you still having memories about that and how it made you feel and this, that, and the third? I don't know, honey. I don't know. Because uh, it don't seem kosher to me after listening to you. Because I did see the interview that he was talking about. And uh, I was talking uh, with the people in the interview about dissing uh, Destiny's Child and, and making them feel lower than low because he, he said he had low self-esteem. I was like, oh, here we go again. Another person want to blame their health on whatever situation they're trying to get into. But they know they need to make up for and apologize for some, you know, infractions they did to someone else. So I was like, man, if you, I, I was really like, if you don't sit yourself down somewhere, anybody going to believe that shit? 
and nobody gonna believe that because you said you were mean to your family you just weren't mean to other artists but you were mean to your family so bad that they put you out because with that kind of stuff they, i would have to put you out honey you ain't gonna be cussing out nobody and all this kind of shit going on but uh that's all i got for this video guys if you want to go uh let me see if you want to go i was trying to find that um okay here it is uh it was my expert opinion um math like a um, number when you're doing uh math in school m-a-t-h hoffa h-o-f-f-a on their latest podcast and it's called my expert opinion so if y'all want to get the full details of that interview then uh you would have to go to that particular platform and hear it but like i said what well, this full of shit is this shit he must got something going on with him as far as he need to purge himself um the the, the go in there you know people he offended he need to go back and apologize or he wants to get back into the business and the way that he's getting back into the business is by apologizing you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying Woo, gotta do some strange things you know but you know like i said he, he shouldn't wait no 21 years if he felt that bad about it you mean in the last two years the last five years seven years you didn't feel some type of betrayment betrayal of you know doing three young women like you did them man get the hell out of him but anyway that's all we got for this particular video um and we will see you next time on another video y'all be breezy as my daughter say bye-bye